talking about junk food, but we've got to go back to this cheating bit because during the break we all got it went off. We all went on the heated <laughs> discussion because she was saying how women are much better at cheating, and you guys apparently are very bad at it. Well, because we're stupid, and and a, this is how we know we're going to cheat. A woman comes up and says, "Hey, want a bone?" And we're like, "Okay." Yeah. You guys plan it out. You guys know when you have control of when you're having sex. Well, my great grandmother always said, "When men are sleeping, women are thinking." <laughs> oh, wow. Hope share with us. Always thinking. Share with us what you were sharing during the break. On okay, what I was saying is that we're better cheaters because we know how to cheat. That's number one. Men don't know how to cheat. Me and Jeff, me and Jeff's been going out. Every Tuesday we go out. We hang out. We may go skating, movies, eat, uh, cook at home, whatever. Uh, that's our date every day, 7.30 p.m. We hang out. Well, I meet this guy. And no, he meets you. Wants to go out with you. You say, right. I'll meet you Tuesday. Jeff will break up with me on Tuesday to go out with you. Pattern has changed. Right, and you immediately, red flag. Red flag. Right. Whereas, <laughs> I, it, me and you have been going out, hanging out. Then I meet, stretch, sexy, per, you know, all that. He wants to go out with me on Tuesday. I don't break my de date with Jeff for Tuesday. I tell him, look, <laughs> I have Bible study. <laughs> I'll meet you on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm talking, this is real. This isn't just yes. like stoner stuff. This is real stoner deal. Stuff. This is yeah. not yeah. just stoner better. stuff. Yeah. It's actually something that people are using um, in place of pain medication when they want to feel better but they won't want to be smoking marijuana as they actually put it into the food. It's easier to digest for them if they don't want to be smoking it. So You can't just eat it though. You, if you no. took marijuana and just ate it, not it would a just good idea. waste a lot you of actually, marijuana. The, the whole baking process is something that there's an art to it. So it's about putting the marijuana into butter in a crock pot, having it simmer there for a while. You wow. can even have it stay there overnight to get really strong, um, siphoning out the, the marijuana that's in there and then using that butter in a cupcake like we saw okay. or in a brownie yeah. or something like wow. that. Wait a second though, th the country is pretty, it really divided on this yes, issue. A lot of people just say it's an excuse for stoners to mm -hmm. get high. What would you say to parents saying it's just a gateway drug? Well, if, if I was talking to parents about their children, obviously I would say it's not a good idea. If I'm talking to someone who is um, who has a pain disorder or who has cancer and they are incredibly uncomfortable and this is something that's going to help them feel better, I'd say absolutely go for it. I think it's fantastic. Um, there's, there's been some yeah. amazing results for, yes. for people. Yes, and tasty. But you do have your preconceived notions of people by their appearance or by their heritage. Or Are we prejudiced in our own race? Like, I can see some black guys walking down the street with the wife, uh, the, the big T-shirts on and sagging, and I'm crossing the street holding my purse. Yeah, I, I see the guys with the, with the, the teeth on going like this, you know, <laughs> grinding what teeth they have left and thinking, oh, God, I'm, not, I'm getting away from them. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everybody. Take care.